Hey everyone, this is Miss Batty back with our final and fifth lesson in our series on chemical reactions. You have figured out so much about chemical reactions and how substances change and stay the same over time. And today we will use all of this to make our final conclusions about what is happening in Westfield. What you're going to need for the lesson today is a pencil or pen, some paper to jot down some notes on, or if you have the packet pages or Schoology lesson available, I suggest you pause and make sure you have those ready. Something that's optional, but always encouraged, is to text that friend or email them through Schoology to do this together and share your ideas over this next little bit. You may also want to have the What Happens When Fuel Burns article available if you have it. We are going to be using the digital model for the first part of today, and so if you have access to Amplify and can open up the chemical reaction sim, then you can go ahead and do that. Where we left off in our last lesson was trying to figure out what exactly happens to atoms during a chemical reaction. We know that the Westfield reaction was created between the iron pipes and the fertilizer rearranging to form this brown substance called rust. However, so many of you noticed that there were a few atoms that were not in the rust, but were in the reactants of the fertilizer and the pipes. Where did these go? Did they disappear? Can that happen during a reaction? Can atoms disappear or appear? Last time, we did some investigations by finding the mass of reactants and products in chemical reactions. But we know that there are limitations to what we can see at the macroscopic level when we are thinking about atoms and molecules. So today, we are going to make sure that we have collected enough evidence by zooming into the atomic and molecular scale in our digital model. If you have access to the digital model, you can go ahead and pause the video and open it up and start investigating whether or not atoms appear or disappear during chemical reactions. If not, no worries, you can follow along with me and we will take a look at the digital model together. All right, so as I mentioned, our goal is to investigate further what happens to atoms during a chemical reaction. So we are going to go ahead and open up the chemical reactions digital model, and we want to be in either laboratory A or B for our reactions today. Um, and we should probably start with maybe a burning reaction. So laboratory A is over here, and I am going to start um, with burning hydrogen gas. So I know that hydrogen gas is a fuel and I am going to mix it with oxygen um, and this would mean it would be, you know, catching on fire, burning the gas um, in this reaction. So let's go ahead and see what we notice. I'm actually going to pause the video right now um, and even already things have broken up. Um, so let's take a look. Actually, it happened so quickly. We'll let it play and then go back to the start. All right, so this happened so quickly right away, uh, but what we started with was an oxygen um, gas molecule and some hydrogen gas molecules. Now I'm actually going to count the atoms because I'm really trying to understand whether they appear or disappear in a reaction. So here I see two oxygen atoms and I see four hydrogen atoms. Now they're moving very quickly. They bumped into each other almost right away they reacted, which means that that's happening very, very quickly. Notice that this is happening at high temperature um, because it's a burning reaction. Our atoms are bumping, bumping. Okay, and I'm getting a water molecule here, which we found out from our article. Bouncing around. 
and we are at the end. So I'm gonna recount my atoms. One, two oxygen atoms. One, two, three, four hydrogen atoms. So in this scenario, no atoms uh, were appearing into our digital model, nothing disappeared. We had the exact same amount of atoms. And that would mean if we were taking the mass of this reaction, we would see the same mass before and after. So again, all of my atoms are still existing in my products. Okay, interesting. So that is our burning reaction, but I want to try a few more just to be really sure. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. I know that my calcium chloride reacted with sodium carbonate. That's a reaction that we have done in this unit. So I'm going to go ahead and test. And again, I'm going to just watch and let it kind of play out for right now. And then I'm going to reverse. So we've got lots of different atom types this time. I can see I've got two Na, which is sodium atoms. I've got three oxygen atoms. I've got a carbon, some chlorine atoms, and a calcium. So again, we know how this works. We're gonna see some rearrangement of these atoms. They're bouncing into each other, okay. Some new things have been made. Things have reattached. We've still got some atoms bouncing around. And okay, we've got some molecules made. So again, still two sodium, still two chlorine. I've got one of each of those calcium and carbons and those three oxygens. So again, I didn't see any new atoms flying into the screen. Nothing poofed and disappeared. All of the atoms are staying. They're just being attached to something new. Interesting, okay. I'm gonna try, see if in laboratory B, we see anything. Let's take a look. Hmm, should we try, what about trying, uh, I'm gonna try calcium bromide, and I'm gonna see if that reacts here. So we're gonna test this see what happens here. Okay, so it does look like there's a reaction. I did notice things breaking apart. It doesn't look like the things I started with. So again, I'm gonna see, I've got two, 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 so two of each of my hydrogen, oxygen, um, and sodium atoms, two bromine, and one calcium. So I've got two of everything except for the calcium. And we're bouncing, we're bouncing around, rearranging. Let's take a look. Two, two of those, two of those, two of those, and one calcium. So I am seeing that again, all of the atoms are the same. They're, they are not appearing or disappearing. This is great. All right, everyone. So it seems like the digital model really gave me further evidence of what we were kind of seeing in our macroscopic investigations yesterday. And this is really interesting because it tells us that atoms cannot be created or destroyed, it seems, during these reactions. It is just what we have is there and it's all being rearranged. So let's go ahead and transition and, and collect a little bit more evidence by reading that article that we saw yesterday, um, a small piece of, called What Happens When Fuel Burns.